Every Wednesday evening and Sunday morning in Melbourne, an eclectic mix of volunteers meet at St Paul's Cathedral and hike their way up a steep spiral staircase. I think there's about 53 steps. I haven't counted them in a long time. Depending on your age, you're probably puffing in you know, for that extra breath. And now yeah, the stimulus starts. Bell ringing to me is the ultimate team sport, we're a team, and that's what I love. There's very few things that involved so much physical skills and mental gymnastics. It might sound strange to call bell ringing a sport, but spend a few minutes in the ringing chamber and you'll understand. There's definitely a workout involved. It requires good hand-eye coordination. If you're ringing the heavier bells at the back, you need some um, stamina and also strength. As you get older and your joints get a bit dry, or whatever they do, um, it's a very good exercise. With the bells at St Paul's weighing up to 1,500 kilograms, ringing them isn't nearly as simple as just pulling on a rope. Throughout this hobby's long history, ringers who don't use the right technique have suffered muscle tears, rope burns and even broken bones from getting caught in the ropes and hoisted to the ceiling. Go again. The, the challenge in the beginning is to handle a bell properly. Right? You don't injure yourself, you don't break the bell. Definitely the handling lessons are quite difficult at the beginning because you have to get the technique right. It's like um, just giving the right amount of push at the right time and the right amount of resistance at the right time. If you push too hard, you've got so much more resistance to fight against, and that's what uses up your energy. But bell ringing isn't just physically demanding. Once you've mastered the technique, the next hurdle is ringing your bell in sequence with your teammates by following a complex set of rules called a method. You've got to think in mathematical sequences, and uh, that's a great mental exercise. Like keyboard instruments or anything else that requires mental and physical coordination is good for you. Sometimes peels are rung. A peel is a marathon in bell ringing. It goes for typically three hours or so. It's a long time. And a lot of ringers claim that at a certain point, you almost go into a semi-automatic state. I think at the end of a of session, um, the, there's the adrenaline uh, racing or running around your body, so you, you feel quite chuffed, right? but I think you feel it the next morning. You know, you've had a uh, good night rest, but the next morning you feel a bit exhausted. 